What would you do if you witnessed criminal activity being conducted in public? We decided to replicate a social experiment conducted by the New York Times to see what, if anything, people would do to stop it here in our city. We enlisted Simon Morin from Bikes on Wheels to pill for his own using various tools of the trade. This will go through it like butter. Really? Could it be that easy to steal a bike in broad daylight? No kidding, those passing within a foot of him on busy College Street didn't even notice the giant bolt cutters in action. And it wasn't until Simon began walking away that anyone piped up. You just cut that lot, you know? Ah, sure didn't, buddy. Didn't stop him, though, stolen in 30 seconds flat. Yeah. Realized, you know, after having let the guy ride off, that was pretty much my only opportunity to actually stop him. And, so you uh, had second thoughts after he yes, rode away? Yes, of course. Yeah, absolutely. We decided to bring things up a notch in Kensington Market. People did double takes, even stopped to watch. Sparks were flying, and yet the only question posed was... Did you go safe? Yeah. 90 seconds and an angle grinder was all it took. This actually is one of the worst areas. According to Simon, high traffic areas are often the worst places to lock up. Have you ever had your bike stolen? Just pieces of it. Which can add up to hundreds. If you've locked your frame, I could take everything else with these two little tools. That's it? That's it. Look how quickly Simon was able to disassemble his bike and make off with the parts. I just noticed that this guy is putting in the bag. Just getting your wheel stolen is very preventable with all you need is a pinhead system, uh, which is a key locking system for your wheels. Less than a $30 investment. Another common mistake? <laughs> Something like this here. Uh, this is so strong I could probably cut through with my teeth. Turns out really good locks will deter thieves. You definitely need a power tool to cut through this guy. We decided to be very obvious for the final heist. Is that your bike? Yeah, sure is. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. That's a hell of a lot of gear to be carrying for your own bike. I lose my keys sometimes. We managed to take off with the bike anyway. It's one of those moments when you kind of think, I've been sitting here, but was I really observing what I think I was observing? Are people apathetic or too busy to intervene? Um, I'd say it's roughly around uh, the $1,200 range. This would be around $550. So if you're looking at both of these bikes combined together, you're looking at almost $2,000. Eight hours in, someone anonymously calls police. It's tough. You just kind of hope that you get the description of the person at the same time when somebody's calling it in. If Simon had been a real thief, he'd have been long gone. We ended up three for three. Mina Ree, Global News.